There's so many issues we don't know if we're going to solve them, but we still feel we have to make our best effort, and I certainly think that's true of the fate of the planet. You know, we don't know that we're going to solve these problems, um, but we certainly uh, are required to make an effort. A lot of species across a lot of different groups are going extinct at the same time, and the implication of the sixth extinction is that there have been, you know, five of these events, five major mass extinctions, and then somewhat oxymoronically, there are also minor mass extinctions in the fossil record. The whole point of the book was to try to get people to, to think or realize that even if you can see one extinction or a couple of extinctions going on in the course of a human lifetime, it's actually very unusual. We think that, oh, it's normal to see things go extinct or it's not such a big deal, but it's very, very unusual. You should not be able to identify any species that's gone extinct in, in the course of your lifetime if you're the detective and you're uh, tracing it back to the ultimate cause, it's, it's always us. One of the messages that I really try to impart to young people in particular, and why I like you know, to come to campuses, is that this is an issue, you know, climate change in particular, but a lot of these big global change issues are issues for which there's a time lag, so one generation is really leaving the problem to the other. So, you know, our generation is really leaving this problem um, for, for the next generation, and they should really be aware of that because there's huge issues of intergenerational uh, equity and, and inter, you know, international equity, huge issues. I, I always sort of tell young people, I encourage them to, to even get get angry. This is really the issue of their time um, and they're being saddled with this um, and, and this should be pretty close to the top of their political agenda as far as I'm concerned. And you know their elected leaders need to hear from them, everyone needs to hear from them um, about how they feel about that. You know knowledge is power and that it's better to know things than not to know them including things that are painful and certainly the you know, Western liberal arts tradition uh, depends on that. You know, I, I do a, really applaud Dickinson for trying to incorporate those lessons into a lot of different fields, right, so that you, you, you should not be able to graduate with, without having a basic level of information.